the Bible in Hebrew contains a code that simply could not possibly be accidental. Here's an example of Hebrew on the screen. They put every letter of Deuteronomy, of every letter of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the Pentateuch it's called, they put all of them into a computer in Hebrew with no spaces, no, pair, no punctuation, just a string of letters. They just randomly began looking for names, like Hitler, for instance, in Hebrew is whatever that is up there in Hebrew, okay? So they found the first letter, mark over until you find the second letter of his name. And let's say it is, in this case, it's 13 spaces. So I tell the computer, find every 13th letter. And it goes along and found Hitler. Then in that same passage, they began looking for other things that have to do with Hitler. For instance, there's the Hebrew words for uh, uh, a people cry murder, slaughter. Uh, King of the Nazis was found in the same passage. Uh, Auschwitz was found every 22 letters, or every 13 letters gave in the bitter sea of Auschwitz. Uh, how, how, however many letters it is for Hitler. The fact is, there seem to be some very interesting hidden codes in the Bible. How you could possibly write a book that would do that is beyond my comprehension. I think it was a Hebrew, two Hebrew scholars and two mathematicians or something that, that discovered this and said, you know, all the computers in the world couldn't possibly write a book where the text means something as you read it, but also there's a hidden code. Now, I couldn't prove it's true or not, and I don't I hope I've never preached that I know for a fact this is true. I, I don't know for a fact it's true. But there have been some people a lot smarter than me and a lot smarter than Hank Hanegraaff who have said, yep, it's true. This, uh, there's something to this.